let's look at some of the properties of determinants and in this case what we are going to see is that if each element of any row or column of a determinant is zero each element I'm not talking about a single element I'm talking about each element its value is equal to zero so what this means is that in a determinant we all know there are rows one two three and columns one two three what this property of determinant says is that if in any of the rows which could be R1 R2 R3 or any of the columns C1 C2 or C3 all okay what this each means here is all if all the elements of any of the rows or any of the columns is equal to zero then the value of this determinant is actually equal to zero you don't need to kind of get through the entire process but the end result will be that the value will be zero and let us see in this particular case so if I expand this determinant by following the rule which is take one two three numbers okay and take the matrices around it now I mean you can very easily say that in this particular case the value has to be zero because the way we calculate the values we multiply zero by this we multiply zero by this we multiply zero by this now we know that whenever we multiply two numbers if one of them is zero ultimately the value for this will be zero for this will be zero for this will be zero but having said it let us just see how it comes now since this is the second row that we are looking at we'll have minus over here plus over here and minus over here right for this zero the value we will get is going to be four five okay one and seven for this zero when we ignore this row and this column we get three five eight and seven three five eight and seven similarly for this zero as you ignore this and this you get three four eight and one right now we get minus zero times whatever is the value over here okay so let's say in this case it will be seven times four twenty eight minus five plus zero times twenty one minus forty minus zero times three times one gives you three minus thirty two now like I told you when you multiply zero with this the value is going to be minus zero plus zero y zero into this will be zero minus zero incidentally all these three are going to give you a value which is zero right so what did we get we came to know that when all the elements of a given row were zero the value of the ultimate number is going to be zero a similar thing can also be applied to a column now in this case what we have is that the first column all the numbers are zero so whenever you get all the numbers as zero the best way is to kind of expand using that particular row or column in this case the column is zero so we will expand using this column zero times two three one seven right because we ignore this we ignore this for this zero we ignore this we ignore this so we get four five one seven four five one seven for this zero what do we get we get four two five three four five two three right in terms of the signs we have plus minus plus or we end up with zero times seven times two gives you fourteen minus three zero times eleven minus zero times seven fours are twenty eight minus five minus zero times twenty three plus zero four three is a twelve minus ten plus zero times two the value of all these three as we know is going to be zero minus zero plus zero ultimately is zero which is again proved that if the value of any of the columns is zero ultimately the value of determinant will end up being zero and this is true for all of them so let's say if instead of first column the second column was zero the third column was zero either of them was zero the value will always come to 
zero. This basically the purpose of all this is to help you solve determinants very quickly.